Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 14th, 2022. Well, yesterday we had kind of an interesting day where those bulls got inspiration in the data and we pushed up, but it, boy, we just really didn't go anywhere all day. As a matter of fact, if I show you a 15 minute chart after the gap up, we kind of drifted down and just went sideways for the um, basically the entire day. Now, QQQ and SPY, uh, big tech had the tech giants had a good day yesterday. So those held up really well. But uh, the rest of the market, well, just kind of wandered around. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can pick up on some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Now, when we look at these charts today, we have to also kind of keep in mind that today is the official kickoff of earnings season. And so we're going to get some big bank earning reports that could change everything very very quickly so as we look at these charts kind of keep in mind that these pressure points that i'm going to point out could change very very quickly depending on how those banks report so first off you can see here in the diamonds i've got this resistance area up here still marked in red and today may be the day where we'll make the decision that we're either going to hold this area and we're showing in the pre-market we're going to try and hold this area and bounce higher and i'll turn that green if um, we get data that um, disappoints and that happens to turn red today um, or we push back down that'll stay red in that resistance area of the chart now looking up here as you can see we've tested up here a few times in this level and in diamonds we haven't been able to to get back above as a matter of fact anytime we've been up here then we find some reason to fail and drop back down below that level uh, at least since august of last year now keeping a close eye on this today we're going to be looking for this upside area right here if the bulls find inspiration if they're able to push through there we might go a little bit higher right in there test that area of the chart and if the bears find inspiration i'm going to suggest right back down here maybe to test this big area of support uh, um, in the chart. And if that were to fail, then it gets a little bit uh, painful maybe. We could pull all the way back into here pretty quickly. Now, even if that were to occur, just kind of keep in mind that doesn't make this a, a bearish chart. Um, it would raise some concerns here in the market, maybe raise a little bit of fear, but as you can see, we're still above our 50 day moving average. So no harm if we did pull back. So don't worry about this idea that, you know, at least at this point, that if we start to sell that the bottom falls out of the market. And I, I don't see that. And then if we take a look at our SPY, SPY continues to be very strong and very overbought um, here in the market. Very stretched to the upside. We are a long ways away from our 50-day moving average again as we continue to press just the big tech giants, um, continue to lift and elevate everything in these indexes. So watch that closely. We are very, very extended here. And as you can see, pressing into this next level of resistance in the chart and perhaps if they can push on through there well maybe we go just a little bit higher what's interesting is we've got a little bit of a mix in the pre-market here um, last night all futures were down but this morning we've got the dow trying to pump higher here in the pre-market while um, the s p 500 and the nasdaq futures are looking just a little bit lower so maybe we'll relieve some of that overbought pressure here today depending on how the data comes out now if the bears come in well as you can see 
we can have a pretty substantial pullback here just coming back into that support level and that's where I would suggest would be the next test lower if the bears were to uh, really engage and you can see we've got a little trend right in there so right in there would be a pretty logical area of price support now if that fails then of course it gets kind of painful um, in the market and we could pull back pretty substantially now keeping in mind here also just very extended off of our 50-day moving average uh, this is just um, irrational enthusiasm in my opinion um, heading into these earnings reports but who knows maybe I am absolutely wrong now taking a look at the QQQ also very very overextended we continue to stretch and stretch and stretch we are a long ways away from our 50-day moving average um, and, and once again it's mostly the tech giants you know when we look at stocks like Google that surged back up yesterday a big part of the rally yesterday was right there in Google and then of course Meta just can't seem to do anything um, to slow down the buyers everybody's racing 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 into Meta so as this continues to stretch to the upside then we continue to see um, um, the tech sector rally because Apple, Microsoft, Google um, doing uh, by far most of the lifting um, in the the NASDAQ. So when we take a look at the QQQ um, here, um, any bullish energy in the chart, you can see we're up here pressing this resistance in the chart right in here. So I'm going to continue to leave that there as um, uh, that'll be an interesting area for us to test and see if we can break through that. If we do break through that, then I only see one other place right there where we can push up and that's a, a pretty high up there. That would be the next resistance level in the the NASDAQ. If the bears find inspiration, I'm going to look right back down here on this price support area. And of course, if that were to fail, I'm suggesting that we would come down into here and that would still be a very bullish chart. Um, so it uh, wouldn't be a problem and actually would be much more healthy than what we see right now. If we take a look at our IWM, IWM also has extended really, really strongly here and pushing to the upside. You can see we're still um, wondering whether or not we're going to hold this level in here after that big gap up so the question is do we get any rest or pullback or do we just push on through here in this chart um, that confirms that and i'll turn this to green so looking through here in this chart as you can see this um, resistance level in here we've got to test that and see whether or not we can push through if we were to push through there i'm going to push us all the way up into here would be our next little level of um, resistance level to test in the IWM. Um, if the bears are inspired, well, I'm going to suggest right back down here is where we're going to go to test that level falling into that gap. And then, of course, if that were to fail, then it gets pretty ugly here in this chart. We might have a little bit of price support right in there, but the bigger level would be probably right in there. So watch carefully um, if those bears were to come into play. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX, although we continue to stretch higher and higher and higher, our VIX is not breaking down into new lows. That being said, this is still a very complacent um, um, reading in the VIX. Um, so we, we must have just tremendous confidence that everything is perfect out there uh, going into, well, what I think is probably going to be a recession here before too long. So watch that carefully here. If the bulls continue to push, then let's look for this little price level here to break. If the bears start to come back in, you can see yesterday at the end of the day, while we were going up in the market, we were um, having the VIX. Uh, go up as well, showing that I think everyone thinks that we've, we're probably a little bit overextended and pushed this market a touch too hard and fast. But you never know. We may continue to surge. Uh, and don't rule out the possibility of a big pop and drop. If we, if we get good data to get today, we could gap on that and then um, turn right around and see selling just simply because we're heading into the weekend and we are overextended. We take a look at our T2122. You'll see what I'm talking about. Our T2122 
continues to remain almost pinned to the ceiling here. Um, we can we can hang around up here for a while. Um, no reason to believe that we can't continue to see those indexes extend, but we are in a very, very overbought condition. And unfortunately, when we stay pinned to a ceiling like this for a period of time, usually the reversal is pretty harsh. So um, just kind of keep an eye on that. Our T2108 is also showing us that very, very frothy overbought situation here in the market. 76% of the stocks above their 40 day moving average. And you can see we can stretch a little bit higher here, but we are fast running out of um, buying opportunities and everybody must be in the market. Everybody must be allocated all the way. Um, thinking the markets can never go down again. So, and that's where it gets kind of dangerous. If we take a look at our T2107, T2107 is also very stretched to the upside. So I'm going to continue to suggest this to everyone um, that um, if you are long the market, continue to raise those stop losses, continue to look for those reasons why you may want, might want to take some profits. I did a lot of uh, profit taking, hedging yesterday, uh, protecting uh, the positions that I'm in so that um, I don't have um, a whole lot of risk going into um, um, earnings in this weekend. So um, maybe consider that. Just be careful not to be over trading here um, with some wild excitement that fear of missing out can be a very dangerous emotion in the market. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. In our economic calendar, we've got a couple of things that we're going to want to be paying attention to here this morning. We've got import-export prices coming out. They are expecting um, uh, an improvement here in the import-export prices on the consensus estimates, so keep an eye on that. Um, all, albeit, you know, still very negative trade deficit numbers. Um, uh, consumer sentiment. Um, is also looking for a modest improvement um, to the upside on there, though still a relatively weak number. So watch that close in consumer sentiment. Then the big data of the day is going to be the earnings reports. Earnings reports are going to be um, the driver of this market, and we're going to have to be keeping a close eye. As a matter of fact, we just saw a surge here in um, the Dow futures and I'm guessing it is because of one of those earnings reports. So let's take a look at some of those reports that we should be paying attention to here today. Again, it is the big banks kicking things off and getting things moving. And so before the market, we're gonna hear from um, BlackRock. BlackRock reporting today. It looks like we got a little pop and drop going on there in BlackRock. So watch that one closely. We um, have got, let's see, um, UNH, United Healthcare, is also reporting today. Looks like we're getting a nice little bounce there in United Healthcare. This has been ugly, ugly, ugly down here, testing a major support in the chart. So a nice place to be bouncing from. Let's see if it can break that downtrend and kind of turn things around and get things moving to the upside on UNH. We're going to hear from Citibank today. Citibank also showing a little bit of pop here to the upside, a little stretched out candle. I don't know if that earnings numbers is actually out. It's just the anticipation of bullishness here. Kind of keeping in mind, we've got a big long downtrend here in that chart um, trying to breach. So we'll want to be paying attention. It's one thing to pop through. It's another thing to pop through and hold. Then we've got JP Morgan. JP Morgan, a uh, big pop there on JP Morgan. I think that's probably what's moving the market here this morning. Um, getting things going here. So uh, JP Morgan pushing to the upside again, pushing into significant resistance. So you'll want to be keeping that in mind, um, that possibility that we get fueled up on energy here in the pre-market and end up with a, a pop and drop type pattern as we s stretch into a very frothy um, uh, positions in the market. Um, we've got State Street that we'll be reporting today. It looks like State Street's trying to move up with JP Morgan here, get something going. And we've got WFC that's reporting today, also stretching up. And I don't think most of these reports are out. This is all anticipation 
um, going into those earnings reports. So kind of keep um, that in mind. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon. When that pops up, if you just click on that button, that helps the channel to continue to grow. Um, um, and I do truly appreciate it. And um, for all of you watching this video, if you find it to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor and then be click that thumbs up button as well and leave a brief comment. Um, I truly, truly appreciate you guys taking the time to do that. I know it's monotonous to do it every single day, but um, it does mean the world to me. It does help the channel to continue to grow, so thank you. And also, if you um, um, have the ability or, or um, interested in doing, doing so, please share these videos out on your social media feed. Share them in your um, social groups. Um, that helps the channel to grow as well. So thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. Let's take a look at these stocks. And remember, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful here um, in this market because we are so stretched out. Um, it, it, um, it, it, it makes me... Um, want to back off rather than chase uh to the upside here so you you make your decision but be very very careful here in the market let's take a look at a few of these charts um i've been keeping an eye on some of these um ag related stocks take a look here at mosaic we have a very interesting uh bottoming pattern coming into play you can see we're trying to do a bit of a um, head and shoulders pattern inverted, trying to break through that resistance, attempting to hold up here. And I think one of the things that's helping some of these is that dramatic fall that we're seeing here in the US dollar, just um, a watershed event collapsing um, with our bond yields pulling back substantially. So watch that closely. Um, sneaking out from underneath the downtrend here, this has a pattern um, in the chart that, um, is one of our favorites to trade. It's called the round and bottom breakout, where we round everything. Um, all of our moving averages start rounding over. We cross back over that 50 day moving average and we hold it as support. What we're looking for is that next opportunity into that trade. So keep an eye there on Mosaic. And it's kind of lagging behind of other stocks. If we take a look at um, ADM, ADM. Um, has already made that big surge to the upside. So breaking through this resistance in here, a little rest consolidation in here, I think could still set up the next opportunity. It's stretched in the short term. I think it needs a significant rest in that chart. Another one in that area that I've been paying attention to here is CF. And um, if you um, notice my alert right in here, that nice little breakthrough we're trying to pull back yesterday, showing some bullishness um, in here. So watch that carefully. We might start moving this one to the upside as well as that dollar continues to uh, fade away. Take a look at um, other things out there in the commodity side of things. Um, APA, my goodness, a uh, big stretch here in APA, just ripping to the upside. Um, EQT. EQT is a chart that I think could be setting up here on that oil and gas. It's been in a really bullish upside trend. As you can see, resting back to price support. Um, look for that next opportunity in that trade. I'd be keeping an eye on some of these um, um, refiners. Man, oh man, they've taken off here in the last few days, ripping to the upside. So look for those support levels, any rest consolidation pullback, maybe a re-engagement with the upside trend after a rest. Look for those opportunities um, in those charts as well. Quite a few of those setting up. Take a look at some of our shippers out there, FedEx. 
FedEx showing really, really strong, went way ahead of the trend. So you want to watch this carefully. Um, yesterday pulled back just a little bit with the bearish engulfing, but look for that next rest or pullback to continue to set up upside opportunity. And UPS is looking the same way, really, really stretched to the upside. And it's kind of the theme of this market. Um, everything is stretching and a lot of things are stretching into substantial resistance areas of the chart. But the good news here on UPS is that we've broken the downtrend and now we just, if we rest back and we start slowing down here with this wild bullishness, we should catch some pretty good opportunities here in the market. So keep an eye on those. So with that, guys, I'm going to call this um, an end to the video today. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Um, wish you great profits in your trading. And I want to um, also wish you a wonderful weekend ahead. Be um, hope you and your family have a great restful weekend and I'll see you right back here bright and early Monday. I want to wish you um, great success and we'll talk to you all very, very soon.